Hello friend, welcome back. So now finally we should be able, <laughs> we will be able to play the game using our hand, right? Using our finger. So we don't want to like play game like that. This is for testing, we drop, we drop the four pieces there. Okay, how can we do that? We'll use, we'll use something called a gesture recognizer, tap gesture recognizer. So, right, this guy can detect our tapping on the screen, on the touch screen. So, that add one here. will drag a tab gesture recognizer onto this this blue view okay this blue view so tab gesture recognizer let's scroll down to find out to find it yeah just mm, gesture recognizer looks like this th those guys okay so one of them is what we need tab gesture recognizer this guy this guy so when we tap on the right touch on the touch screen this guy can detect the event okay put it here oh it's not on here right it's not on the screen here it is here here and here this guy so we can now we need to do, to do control drag right onto our view controller you can control drag from here or here they are same equivalent so hold on option key click view controller connect for view controller okay now uh let's drag from here okay because it's closer to our <laughs> editor on the right and put it yeah this will trigger right this will be our function so let's put it here uh in y put it uh let's put it here i think yeah those two things is for multi-peer connectivity remember we'll come back later later when we implement like two players using two devices but for now we use just one device one device okay so let's do our hold on, uh, sit, um, hold on control key drag to here and action yes connection type is action so this one is we can select that we need that what's name we can say just touch or drop right because when we touch we want to drop a piece drop mm, or drop a piece yeah so better to name a function right using something like a verb instead of none and we we name those variables right like for the view using um, something like a noun but here try to make it sound like a verb drop a piece okay connect yes okay now because this is our first time to use drop uh tap church organizer let's print out something here anything here now okay so we don't need this one and make it smaller so every time if we touch right the screen we should be able to see this on the console let's run it command r touch anywhere touch right yes it works okay now we want to get the information about the world we touch right where we touch on the screen so the in information is inside this parameter let's print out so center dot is there something like location yes location in right in a view of course which view in our board view right now that's a location what is the data type i guess is a cg point yes cg point so it means it should have a dot x 
or dot y, right? What do we care about? Y or x? Think about that. X, right? We want to know where, which column we clicked, right? Which column we clicked, so we we can we know we uh which logical column we want to drop a piece in. So let's print out X. Now run it again. So if I touch here, the number is smaller, right? If we touch here, the number right increases. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so this we cannot use this directory. We want to use we want to figure out the logical column, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. All the seven numbers, right? And uh, who can answer these questions? The best. The view, right? The view. So let's go back there and implement a, a, a function to answer that question. Draw a piece, draw a piece, okay? So let's create a function here. Like column of x cg float int, right? So providing given our, our screen uh, coordinates x, we want to know its logical right column. How to do that? Easy, right? We divide, we divide, we already divided the full width of the view by seven, right? By seven, evenly. So, so, what is the algorithm? What is the algorithm here? X. Let's, let's don't put it here. Just use X divided by seven. Okay, so let's print out this guy, okay? To see, oh, print column equals, yeah. All right, backslash parentheses, so we can show its value. Now, okay, so because we can use this trick to silence, to silence the compiler like any number doesn't matter so let's see what will be printed out okay so let's try to call this function when we touch when we touch the screen here yeah. so when we touch screen and um, instead of printing out that let's print out our board view dot colon oh that oh this x this x is um, let's create a a constant here and uh, finger x okay equals that thing right so we can pass in the finger x so we'll print out the right the corresponding value of the the column based on our algorithm run it now let's go back to to check this code or we can see both hold on option key click board, board view here so we can see both right uh yeah here is the printing and here is the algorithm okay so we're use x divided by seven to see what happened here now let's click column one print out oh there's a print here okay 
so yeah anyway don't worry about this negative one we don't use it so it's two point something column now what about this one oh sorry about that i didn't mean that i mean this one cell side cell side okay let's try it again so here zero point something right and the column one one point something that's 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 touch here one point something so here two point something you see so did you realize so here what about here six point something we only need to drop this part right the decimal part of the the output is exactly what we need for for the column for the value we want to return great so now let's put our int here and wait for the auto complete fix yeah so this way we drop right if we convert a decimal number using this int right we drop the uh, decimal part fraction part now we can return this column thing try it again one or oh, zero one two three four five six great right done so now we can remove the print and here we can use this value to drop our piece right now we can call connect for ball dot drop at what this guy right um, okay so copy and uh, we can paste it here or we can create a, a constant for that right colon equals that so we can put the colon here yeah prayer that's hard coded one here so red now let's clean up this hopefully everything will work as expected run it oh we haven't removed this one but don't worry about that here oh nothing happened we forgot we forgot to repaint right board view dot set needs this not layout needs display the second one run it after we change the, the board we need to right repaint it oh aha uh -huh. what's wrong we forgot another thing right to upgrade the shadow pieces there haha <laughs> is is this guy we want to sh because the view is using the shadow piece box pieces box okay so now ta -da! again again okay so we can remove those code right finally yeah i think it's good so here every time run it now it's an empty board right when you click it here okay now how can we toggle the color right to switch between the two players um let's tackle that problem in our next video okay
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम